years it's been raining almost the same so what is it that is happening in recent times which is different everyone knows that mumbai was a group of seven islands and the rest was water most of mumbai is reclaimed the reclamation was done just due to paucity of funds or what i don't know the filling was not done adequately mm-hmm. and hence they remain low lying areas so the low lying areas which made them in a softer shape mm-hmm. would always be prone to accumulation of water mumbai was a city of lakes and water tanks as late as 10 years ago the 56 textile mills of mumbai each one had a lake within because when the mills were set up there was no piped water water system now when you permitted commercialization of uh, the textile mill all these lakes should have been retained they were permitted to be filled in there were all these lakes around this mata which took the water stored in and there was a concrete jungle there water to be displaced now comes directly to hind mata so even if you augment your storm water drainage line to whatever extent indiscriminate urbanization results in more water coming on the streets which otherwise never have come mm-hmm. now every single space been used by the developers for development so there is no space left for percolation this water which would have otherwise in natural course would have gone underground now comes back on the streets and there is more flooding today they permit green area on the third floor level and fourth floor level so if you would insist that that compulsory green area of 20% or 25% should be on the ground mm-hmm. and it should not be a manicured garden but it should be a gar- it should be straight testing earth mm-hmm. so that the water should percolate then that would take care of each a portion of the uh, ground ground table recharging so that can be done even now so there is no political will because it's the builders who are in control whichever party comes to power wants to be on the right side of builders and hence they do not want to implement the problems the solutions that are available your storm water drain have been augmented and the capacity to take away water is about 50 mm per hour so when it rains 50 mm per hour the authorities say that we have a capacity to take that water away now if it rains more than 50 mm per hour then in any case there is no provision so either your storm water drain system has to cater to more than 50 mm per hour so that uh, once the storm water drain capacity is improved Mm-hmm. and sometimes the rain is not 50 mm per hour and then the storm water system doesn't work then you obviously have to blame the machinery uh, involved in keeping those drains uh, clean wherein the desilting has not happened or mm-hmm. something so then it's human error so then you can't call it an accident uh, you know first of all what you need to do is test is your storm water system see that it is 100% capacity right second if the rain is within the permissible limits for the storm water drain to accept it, then there is no reason why there should be flooding third the rain per hour is more than what the storm water drain can take within an hour or two hours the the water logging should go away because you have a pumping system to take away the water fourth is you should ensure that more water doesn't come in on the streets by having planning measures by which the natural sources of water bodies 
which otherwise would have drained in a, in the natural manner uh, are recharged or reactivated so oh. all these things put together you know can form a comprehensive strategy mm-hmm. to ensure that flooding is kept to the minimum mm-hmm. and even if water accumulates it doesn't remain there 